Hello there, my friends. So we are on D&D Beyond, and today we're going to create a 2024 character using the new rules. So go to D&D Beyond, go to create a character. Oops, my slots are full, so I'm going to go to my characters. And maybe you're new to D&D, maybe you're new to uh, the new rules, which just came out three weeks ago. Uh, but we're going to make a character here. Maybe you just like the fall asleep to the sound of my voice. Be surprised how many people <laughs> have told me that. I don't know if that's a compliment or if that's uh, an ASMR thing. But anyway, uh, feel free to subscribe. 14,000 subscribers can't be wrong. The we're up to 14,039. All right, I'm going to delete this character here. So that's how you delete a character. Type the word to delete in the field below. That's so that you don't accidentally delete a character by hitting the wrong button. Or if your little brother or sister gets on your account and uh, while you walk away from the screen. All right, so go up to here where it says create a character. And let's create a standard character. I'm a beginner, so show help. Let's start building. All right. Uh, tells you how to create a character and that sort of thing, but I'm going to show you. So we're going to have to do that. So go over to this arrow and hit next. And we can use all these different rules here. And I'm going to click next. Choose your class. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to build a wizard today. So wizards are definitely not necessarily a beginner character, but I want. I'm going to do a podcast later this week and. Uh, we're going to be talking about wizards, so i got to get through, uh, i got to do some research here. Like a true wizard. So this is the core rules, that's the 2024 rules. If you go down here, these are the 2014 rules. These are legacy rules. We're going to create a new wizard. So go to wizard here, click on it, and it tells you a little bit about what a wizard is. They can cast spells, which is nice. It tells you a little bit about their core traits. You can show more if you want to learn about that. And this is actually pretty cool, so let's do that. Here are all your core traits. Your primary ability is intelligence. You're only going to get a D6 uh, hit points. You're going to be pretty um, fragile, so stay in the back. You're not going to be charging a lot of orcs. You're going to be staying in the back and casting spells to help your buddies or to attack from the back lines. You can choose two skill proficiencies. You can only use simple weapons. And you don't have any armor training. And this is your starting equipment. So, not much in the way of starting equipment. All right, let's add this class. So now we are a level one wizard. We get to choose our traits. We get to choose skill proficiencies. All right, so we can choose from Arcana, that's knowledge of old things. History, which is knowledge of history. Insight, which is about, like, is somebody lying to me? What's their disposition towards me? Investigation, which is like, I'm trying to search for clues as to a mystery in a room, like the room has been upturned. Can I tell if uh, somebody were left-handed or right-handed by the way this book has been written in? Something like that. Medicine. Am I good at healing people? Do I know what's in this potion? Nature. Um, you know, just knowing about animals and plants and that sort of thing. Religion. Knowing about rituals and cults, that sort of thing. So the two most useful ones would be insight and investigation, I would imagine. But um, our background might give us one of these. But I'm going to pick Insight and Investigation for right now. We'll see if that conflicts with one of our backgrounds. Spell casting. So this tells us that we have cantrips and we have spells. So we get level one spells, which is nice. And we get Ritual Adept, which means that we can cast a spell from our book as a ritual, which means we don't have to prepare it. So we don't have to have it already in our head. We can just read it from the book if it has the ritual tag. It's a ritual spell. Arcane Recovery means we can recover a, a spell slot. At level 1, we can recover one spell slot per short rest. Let's go next. All right. 
background. We're going to choose a background. Let's do it. Let's see. Choose a background. Well, I don't think in the free version of this you get too many choices. So we will choose either Acolyte, which is like somebody that was um, in a cult or a religion and an adept in that religion. You know, somebody that studied it. Criminal, which uh, self-explanatory. Why a wizard would be a criminal, I don't know, but intelligence is one of the criminal background things you get. Sage, which is, you know, somebody that studies a lot. Maybe you worked in a library. Soldier on the battlefield. So we're probably going to want acolyte, criminal, or sage for intelligence, because those give us intelligence. But sage gives us wisdom and intelligence. And we're going to have to survive some wisdom saving throws. So we're going to want proficiency in those two things. So we get to pick that. Uh, let's see here. Magic initiate. We get two cantrips and a spell. We get to choose an option. Uh, we get to choose a bonus. Right? So that says here we're going to go to the Intelligence or Wisdom or Charisma because of our um, background. So I think we definitely want Intelligence. And we can choose a cantrip, right? So it says here, choose a spell. Actually, we're not choosing, yeah, we're choosing cantrips. I like prestidigitation because you can do so many things with that. I like, I want probably Ray of Frost. And I probably want something like, oh, I don't know, Mage Armor to make us, no, we want Magic Missile for sure. You always want magic missile. That's always a good thing to have. Ability score. We're going to choose to increase two scores. We're going to increase our intelligence by two. We're going to increase our wisdom by one. We are... We can put in some character details here if we want. We can choose our alignment. I think I want to be neutral good. Good. We can choose a lifestyle. So I think we are comfortable. Physical characteristics, we can put all that stuff in there if we want. Personal characteristics, we can add personality traits. can do bonds and flaws, that sort of thing. I like when they randomly assign them, but apparently it's not going to do that here. All right, so I think we've got everything done in our background. Now we just choose a species. So what do you want to be? Do you want to be a dwarf? Do you want to be an elf, a halfling, or a human? Now these are expanded roles. So we're not going to use those. We're going to use these, I think... I like the idea of being a, I don't know, do I want to be an elf wizard? I think so, because if you're an elf, I think you also get, um, you can get another spell, right? Humanoid, speed, dark vision, elven lineage. So you get fairy fire, detect magic, or long strider. That's pretty nice. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes. All right, so we're an elf. It tells us we are humanoid. We are medium, five to six feet tall. It tells us our speed, dark vision. That means we can see in the dark, in gray, up to 60 feet. Elven lineage. Now we get to pick here. And we're going to pick this based on our spells, right? So if I'm a high elf, I know prestidigitation. Well, I already know prestidigitation, but kind of like the dancing lights cantrip and it increases my dark vision 
But I don't really want to be a drow. I want to be a high elf. So I think I'm going to pick high elf. Now I wonder if I can go back and change my cantrips. We'll see. Elven lineage spells. So I want to be able to use my intelligence as my spell casting ability because I'm going to have a high intelligence already because I'm a wizard. My keen sense skill will be perception. I want to have good perception. And then I get to pick some languages. And I love picking draconic. I always do that. I'm going to pick draconic and elvish. So draconic and elvish. Those are my two go-tos. Uh, looks like I get to pick another choice of a spell. Is it? Elven lineage spells. Choose a spell. Mm. Yeah, it looks like I get to pick another spell. Um, well, I already have Ray of Frost press digitation. I think I want Mage Hand. And then I think I'm done here, and I can go to next. So I'll determine my ability scores. But actually, I think, yeah, ability scores. I go previous. So I chose my species. Okay, background. So I want to choose my. Cantrips. I want to change press digitation because I get that with the other one to um, minor illusion. Acid splash. Next, chose the species. I already chose that. It remembered. Okay, we're good here. Go forward. Okay, now, in order to determine the ability scores, oh, that's so cool. Um, I can do a standard array. I can do point by, or I can do a random. So I think I'm going to do point by because I do point by. I can min-max. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to put a lot into intelligence. And then I'm going to put a lot into wisdom. And I think I'm going to put a lot into charisma. And then I'm going to just be really weak. And uh, my dexterity is not going to be good, and my strength is not going to be good. So I'm not going to be good at any of those things. My charisma is going to be good. See, now I could actually, do I need my charisma to be good? Or should I put in constitution? Yeah, I think charisma. All right, now we get to pick our starting equipment. So I can take two daggers, quarter staff, a robe. Spellbook, Scholar's Pack, or I can just take 55 gold pieces. And the stage also gets quarter, uh, quarter staff, supplies, book, parchment, or, or gets 50 gold pieces. So I think I'm going to pick the... I don't need the daggers. I'm going to go with the money, and then I'll buy starting equipment later. All right? So here it goes. Add starting equipment. So I've got 105 gold pieces I can go spend later. And it looks like I'm done. So I need to name this character. So I'm going to call him uh, Whizbang. And then... Um, I get to view my character sheet. Now, the nice thing about D&D Beyond is that when you generate a character sheet, you have descriptions here. So it can tell me what my actions are in combat. 
So I don't have any reactions at this point. If I did have a reaction, it would tell me that. It can tell me what I can do here. Right now I don't have any weapons. So I can cast this as a uh, uh, attack spell, or I can just make an unarmed strike. Uh, once I get weapons, I can, you know, it'll have here, like, let's say, let's go to, um, let's go to equipment, skills, proficiency. Before we do that, here's our proficiency bonuses, which is amazing. We've got plus fives. Uh, our perception's great. That's good. Our initiative's going to be nothing, though. I could be very good at initiative. And here are our skill bonuses. So take a look at those. These are our proficiencies. That's pretty cool. All right, so we need to go to um, equipment. So I need to go to the sidebar. No? No? Okay. I'll do that. Um, I need hide sidebar. Okay. Go to builder. Go to. Nope. I want to go to uh, equipment. There we are. Choose equipment. Boom. Current inventory. Add items. Go down here. Now. We can say things like, I want to have a quarter staff. Quarter staff. So we'll add that. We'll also add a focus. Or maybe that will be our arcane focus. We need a spell book. So we get that, and a spell book. All right, so now let's go back to our home page. No, we go back to, um, we go to our character sheet. Now, it should have actions and combat. Here it does. Does it not have, okay. So I need to go to inventory and equip my quarter staff. If I equip my quarter staff, um, then I think what I can do is, where is it? Yep, there it is. Equip quarter staff. Now, if I go to actions, it should have quarter staff. There it is. And it tells me to hit. I have a minus one, and my damage is not very good, but I do have a quarter staff, so that's cool. Now, if I go to spells, I can add these. Let's see. Tells me what spell is. Tells me the effect. So acid damage, cold damage, magic missile, force damage. So those are all really good. Manage spells. I can prepare spells. I can add spells. So I get four spells I didn't add yet, so that's pretty cool. Once I add those spells, it'll let me. So I'll add like Tasha's Hideous Laughter. I'll add like a Fog Cloud, Thunder Clap. No, I, I don't want Thunder Clap, I want the new ones. Um, minor Illusion and Shape water, maybe. Oh, those are all cantrips. No, I want first level spells. I want first level spells. Thunder wave, yes. I want an area of effect spell. We will delete minor illusion and take. Um, Sky self. All right. Very good. All right, so we do that, and now I think 
if we go to actions, and we go to spells, should be able to, so here's our slots, prepared spells, where is that? Manage spells, that's it. There's our spell book. Prepared spells, no, add spells. We already added the spells. Okay. Learn, we learn them. Okay. Great. And here it says prepare. All right. And then, Fog cloud, we prepared it. Disguise self, we prepare it. And what else do we know? Tasha's hideous laughter, prepare it. And thunder wave. And we prepare that. And there you go. All right, so now we're there. We prepared that. Hit the sidebar off. So now we have all these spells here, and it tells me what they do. So force damage, thunder wave is thunder damage. Tasha, we knock people prone because they're laughing. Click on it, it gives us a description. It's pretty awesome. I love it. All right. Customize the name. All right. So here are your basic stats. Here's your strength modifiers. Here's your uh, armor class, not good. Here's your proficiency bonus, your walking speed, your hit points, all that sort of thing. We have defense against magical sleep. If we ever cross over that, it's because we're an elf. This is very useful. So and then you can even print these out as well. So basically that's uh, an elf we just created on D&D Beyond. I could show you how to do it with the actual book uh, by hand. That would have taken longer, but uh, you would have to have written down like uh, your traits and things like that. So like here are these features and traits tells you your elven traits, your traits from being a, a, a wizard, uh, you know, it's, your background if you have any notes about your background you can put them there you can take extra notes put any extra things over there your inventory is right here pretty cool so yeah the dnd beyond Matt app makes this very easy uh, if you have any questions about this please let me know and thanks for subscribing to the channel and i'll talk to you all on the next one take care